Let's get another quarterback here on this list at 84. I am going Kyler Murray, a guy who had a great year last year. You look at his box score statistics, they're good, not great. He has improved by six or seven points every single year since he's been a pro uh, in terms of passer rating. Uh, passer rating was over 100 last year with a 24 to 10 touchdown to interception ratio. And while the passing yards are down, keep in mind he missed some time last year. So that might be one of the issues you could have with Kyler is he does miss some time. That's probably a fair thing to put in his uh, negative column, I would suppose. You go over and look at his PFF grades. PFF grades, very good. Um, offense was over 80 both years, and his passing grade got significantly better from 2020 to 2021. His running grade was actually like really bad last year, according to PFF. I, I had a whole video where I kind of posted my theory on that of, you know, when a play works out, it's benefited his passing grade because he scrambles out and then throws one for a touchdown. But when it doesn't work out, it might only hurt his running grade. That was just a theory. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's a theory. But a play like this is exactly what I love about Kyler and why I have him on this list and why I think that next year I would bet on him getting higher on this list is because he can do stuff like this, where it's going to be man coverage that he's going up against and watch what happens. Right off the bat, Kyler takes the snap. There's pressure coming and nothing is open. If this is, you know, Tom Brady, who, spoiler alert, is higher on this list than Kyler Murray, the play's over. Brady has to throw it away and that's the end of the play. You move on to another play. But with Kyler Murray, the play is not over until he says it's over. Watch him scramble outside the pocket, even though there wasn't really a great room, great lane for him to scramble out. Makes a great throw off balance. DeAndre Hopkins makes a great catch on top of it. But this is just what Kyler can do, is I think he does do a good job at just running an offense. I think he does do a good job at all of that stuff. But there's just the added benefit of when everything goes wrong, he can still make something happen and he can still just give you extra value on top of whatever it is the rest of the team is earning you. So because of that, that's, I think, the difference maker and what makes Kyler better than just, you know, one of those quarterbacks who I had in the 90s, why he's in the 80s is because he can consistently do stuff like this. I can't put him any higher because we have seen some inconsistencies with Kyler in his young career. I'm expecting him to get better at that, but this is the right now list, so that's why he's only where he's at. Thank you for watching that clip of my a better version of the NFL Top 100, or at least an attempt to make a better version of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to follow me on Twitter, at Jackson Kruger on Twitter. You can check me out there. And if you want to see the rest of these videos, just, you know, I'm going to post 10 every day. So if they're already out, you can search them for yourselves. If not, uh, they will be out shortly. So just be on the lookout for it. Of course, don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, Thanks for watching.